Hello there, how's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. This right here is my hand. So if you're new here, let me just introduce you to this. This is my Ascendant Audio SMD18. The box was designed for my car. But as you can see, we are not in my car. We are in a room in my house. So if you're wondering to yourself, why the hell is that in his living room? It's in my living room because I like watching movies and this makes watching movies even more fun. How is that going to make movies more fun? Well, you see, it adds an extra dimension to the movies. The sound, the explosions, the rumbling and, you know, that's like 50% of the movie. Now, when you go to the cinema, what do you get? You get, you get loud sound, but you also get the bass. You also get this shaking and stuff. The shaking that happens from speakers like these, well not quite like these, but this is going to cause a shaking in my house and the neighbor's house. Now if you're like me, you don't really need a big screen to get into movies. You get into a movie from watching it, no distractions, you don't want to be sat with a numpty that's always getting up and walking out of the room and coming back in. Now brief specs on the box. The box is roughly 28 hertz after displacement. Check out that video if you want to see more about the inside of this box. Now the tuning on a box depends on the port width and length. Now when I made this box, I measured the length of the port out, but I don't remember the length of it right now. It comes to around here. And there was another part of the port that went further down, but I took that off. Um, that left me with roughly 28 hertz. So what I'm gonna do with this is, I'm gonna make it a little bit more narrow, and I'm gonna shorten this by about an inch. And that should drop the tuning frequency to about 22 hertz. So in order to do that, what I have to do is take these screws out and you can see these screws all the way along and I've even got some in the back. Okay, so the first screw and um, electric screwdriver mode engaged. Right, so. Okay, so that's one screw out and I gotta do this for the rest of them. Now this part is not held in just with screws. Obviously, there's a bit of silicon and also there's wood glue. Now wood glue is a funny thing because the wood glue itself ends up being stronger than the bloody wood. So um, that's going to be an issue. Now we're on the last screw on this side. So in case you're wondering to yourself, why do you want to lower the frequency to 22 hertz? What are you going to gain from that? Why do you keep wanting to play with bass and stuff? Well, you see, I'm just an idiot. I'm kind of um, a bit of a bass head and uh, most of us, most of you guys that watch this will be in a similar position. Either that or you're here for um, killing time. Why are you here if you're not a bass head? If you're not into bass, if you're not into speakers, if you're not into bass, if you're not into speakers, if you're not into drugs, why is it you're here? Are you here for the humor? Are you here for the, am I here, do you, am I a clown? Now the back of the box, five screws on the back and the back of this thing is not painted because well, it's the back of it, so. What would be the point? OCD? Yes, OCD would be a good point, but um, run out of paint. Also, these screws are slightly different to these ones, which uh, you can't see because it's blurry. So uh, let's just leave those there. And this screw is different from those two, which is even weirder. So how's your day been then? Has it been good? No. Don't worry, there's another day tomorrow. Now, if you are going through some shitty days, then just remember there are people that have had their houses flooded. You could probably have had your house flooded, which you haven't, so um, feel better about it. I have been wanting to make another box, one of these boxes, but um, I'm not too sure if I should or not. We'll see how well this 22 hertz thing works. Here we have the side of the box, which is actually the bottom of the box. In the back of my car, I have had a bit of water spill at some point, which has caused this thing to sort of like go a bit funny and caused this screw to get a little rusty. So yeah, I was thinking of making another one of these boxes, maybe tuned to around 20 hertz. 20 hertz box, I'll see how this turns out and maybe I'll make another one. I'm not sure if that's even necessary really. 18 hertz, 20 hertz, 22 should be quite low enough. You could call this an experiment. Again, another experiment. And now we're on the last screw, which is great news because I'm fed up of unscrewing these screws. This is my workout glove. I don't just use one glove to work out with. That is there so I can lean this on it, one side of it. So what I do is put this in like this and then go like this. And this is lifting up. But it seems to be getting stuck around here. 
Okay, I've got an idea, but I don't recommend this. Just giving it a light tap so it breaks the glue. Now the other thing is it might not be glue. I might have actually put a nail in, I think. I'm not sure though, but um, I could have done. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. Basically using a screwdriver as though it's a chisel. And I don't recommend doing this. Right, so the other option is to sort of go like this, put that there and just whack it with a hammer. I think it might be working. Talk about a piss take. Okay, so I've tried to free this up as much as I can, but as you can see, it seems to be stuck around here. Now, the only other way I could get into this is by using something like this. See that? That is a jigsaw blade. Now, how, how am I gonna get a jigsaw blade into this, you're wondering? Well, this one for starters is a metal cutting jigsaw blade. So if there is a nail in there, it's gonna slice right through it. Maybe I can use it with this. I think I should use some headphones. Okay, so did a quick test and um, time to carry on with the rest of this. Eye protection, headphones. Okay, well that was easy. Now I need to just uh, give this a bit of a vacuum. Time for some cardiopulmonary resuscitation. CPR. And there we go, it's off. Right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure these holes. So this is roughly 3.7 and I'm gonna move these an inch down. So that'll be 2.7. If I do it this way and I make the holes from this side, then they'll fit exactly into the holes on the panel that was here before. Whereas if I was to measure the holes from this side and do it, then well, they might not match up. And this is how I'm gonna do it. So there and there that'll be where that one comes do the same for this one and then the rest of them but how am i going to make these holes you're wondering well what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the screw put the screw against the hole like this and much like this one here in about five minutes i will have this screw all the way through or i could just use this all right so Now I'm going to countersink these and I'm going to use a vacuum to catch the dust. Ich arbeite gern mit Holz. Oh hey. Okay, so this is uh, this has been a little bit more difficult than I thought it would. Wood. I need to vacuum that again. OCD. Right then, try again. Okay, so I think I've got this pretty much level all the way around. And it was a little bit more difficult doing this than I thought it would be, but that's mainly because I never left any marks telling me whereabouts this should be placed. So then, screwdriver ready. Electric screwdriver. Seems to be all right. Might as well just put the rest of them in. And finally, the last screw. Okay, so it's about half past 11 at night and I've tested this with a movie. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this. This is bathroom sealant. It was upstairs. I got this quite some time ago. Well, there's quite a bit left in this. So I'm just gonna seal these edges up because there's quite a few gaps here from when I used a jigsaw. 
This side seems to be all right. I'm gonna go over all of this anyway, just to seal up the gaps. But what I'm gonna to do tomorrow is go out and get some wood and extend this part somewhat. With this, all you do is um, basically just put it on the edge and squeeze it. Squeeze and it comes out, so. Like that. And I've got a lollipop stick right here. This side's a bit of a mess, but um, shouldn't be much of a problem. All right then, so that should be good enough. I'll just clean some of this up and uh, leave it for now. It is now the next morning and the silicon on this has nicely dried. The only thing is the box does look a little weird with these edges raised the way they are. Obviously that is just because I've lowered this. What I was going to do is I was going to extend this part by about seven or eight inches. So obviously that would involve me having to put wood around this and, you know, extend it downwards. Um, I was going to do that, but um, I did go and get the wood for this. And that is this right here. The only thing is my vacuum cleaner has stopped working. So um, I'm going to have to get another one of those. So, yeah, it's a bit weird how things happen like that. Um... That's uh, karma playing a role, I guess. Must have been all those spiders I've been vacuuming. Don't know what to do now. I guess I'll probably see you next time. Ah, drugs.